Hey gang, Scott here. Got a quick video for you about the color mixer in Lightroom and specifically using the range slider and visualize range option. So you can, well, visualize exactly the areas of your photo that you're affecting with a particular color swatch. Uh, let's do a quick recap of the color mixer and then I'll show you it in action uh, using this visualize range option. So I will use this uh, makeshift color grid here just to give you an idea of how the color mixer is working. Uh, and in particular, I'm talking about the point color option. You get the eyedropper, and let's just pick aqua down here, you know, an aqua tone. All right, so great, I have an aqua tone, and then, you know, I can I can shift hues, and, and you, you'll see things changing, right? You know, that's, that's what the the color mixer will do is you can push hue, you can push saturation, you can change luminance, you know, all of these things here. But what is uh, sometimes overlooked is the range slider. Well, how many of those aquas are being affected? And that's where visualize range can help you out. So I'm going to turn on visualize range and we see I chose aqua. I have aqua. That makes sense. Watch what happens as I push the range slider to the right, increasing the range. It grows, pull it to the left, it shrinks, right? We're having that grow and shrink where it's affecting, if I go back to the original like swatch here, it's affecting more of the aqua tones. You know, I chose basically the center of this, and as the range gets increased, I'm affecting more tones of aquas. Let me show you on another color, if we choose something like yellow. Imagine you pick on your photo, you get something like a yellow in here, and then view the range. You actually see effects in yellow, in orange, in green, and as the range increases, you know, you'll see more of that. And if we shift saturation, we'll see those colors more saturate. The range is expanding into its neighboring colors, right? Yellow is can be associated closely with orange, it can be associated closely with green. That's why we see the hue sliders allowing us to push a yellow toward a green or toward an orange. So that's what visualize range is letting you do. You can see those colors and what uh, which colors are being affected based on the tone that you chose in the photo. Uh, okay, great, fine. Kind of easy to see when you're using a bunch of color bars. What happens in a real life situation where you're editing? And let's 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 take a look. Let's see how you work here. This photo here, I've got uh, you know plenty of oranges here, but the uh, the thing that's uh, distracting to me or, or not quite right in the photo is the bluish cast in the shadow areas of the snow and I, I want to deal with that and the point color in the color mixer is great for that. I'll choose one of these tones in the shadows out here and you can see over on the the right side where it's it's leveling down into those blues. Great, I picked the blue there and then I turn on visualize range and we can kind of see where it is at the top and it, it's it's reasonably visible in other places, you know, and poking itself through in other shadows. Uh, and so we can then refine the range. And as I'm pushing the range back and forth, some places are more obvious that it's being changed and other places are less obvious. And notice as I'm holding down the range, you can see the neighboring colors that are being impacted. You know, the point that I chose is at the center of that point color. And as I make the range smaller, we're affecting less of the surrounding hues. As we go larger, we're affecting more. When this can be, this, this photo, it's, it's reasonably easy to see that, uh, that range. Uh, other photos, if you have uh, many colors that are close by, similar. Uh, one more trick I want to share with you to help you visualize what's being affected. So and then you can uh, you know, reduce the, the, the well, in this case, saturation to something normal. But it's more for fine tuning your range. Let me show you this here. So we have this range here and you know it's, 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 it's changing certain things. If I take the saturation and just crank it all the way to the right, it now becomes much more obvious what's being impacted and what isn't. And so I can fine tune the range to say, you know, really, really want it is about here. Great. I'll take that saturation back down to where it was nominal. I know that the range based on the color I selected is affecting the particular tones and areas of the photo I want. I'll turn off visualize range. And in my case, I want to desaturate the snow. So I'll take the saturation down and we can see now that snow has a much more natural looking white maintaining the, the you know the bright versus shadow I'm still it's still definitely snow that's in shadow but it's no longer blue right before 
and after. So uh, that is, uh, you know, kind of like how you can use the point color portion of the color mixer to really refine what colors you're affecting. You can visualize it by turning on the visualize range slider, pushing that saturation all the way over so you can fine tune the range, then get to work on making your color adjustment. Hope you found the video useful. Questions, drop them below. And until next time, my name's Scott Davenport. Have fun.